Hello, everyone. I'm Riley Dickens with Encryption Consulting, and today we're comparing OCSPs and CRLs, two vital parts of any PKI. First, we'll talk about CRLs, Delta CRLs, and ARLs. Then we'll move on to OCSPs, and finally, we'll compare the two. Certificate revocation lists, or CRLs, are lists containing revoked certificates and their data that are published at certain time intervals. But say a certificate is revoked in the time between the old and new CRL being published. How do CAs know that certificate is revoked? Delta CRLs are CRLs published in the downtime between old and new CRLs being published. They ensure no certificates escape being on a CRL. Authority revocation lists, or ARLs, are lists containing certificates of CAs that have since been revoked. All of these types of lists are published to CRL distribution points, or CDPs, by each of the CAs in the PKI. Another way to check the status of a certificate is with the online certificate status protocol. The way OCSP works is a CA sends out an OCSP request to an OCSP responder. That responder checks the certificate status with the issuing CA and returns a value of good, bad, or unknown. This is a great way to get the current status of a certificate, but you don't get all the certificate info like you do with the CRL. Now let's move on to comparing CRLs and OCSPs. OCSPs provide the current status of a certificate, while CRLs or Delta CRLs could be behind on currently revoked certificates. OCSPs are always up to date, whereas PKIs using CRLs may have an interval and no Delta CRL, causing a lapse in the certificate revocation status. One issue with CRLs is that they need to be parsed because there's such a large list, and this can cause a lot of unnecessary work when searching for a single website certificate. To find a certificate from a CA CRL, the whole list must be parsed, which is okay for multiple clients, but with one website, this is overkill. When dealing with many CAs, OCSP is the better choice, but dealing with multiple clients using one CA should be handled by a CRL. As previously mentioned, multiple clients from the same CA are handled much better with CRLs, while OCSP is best with a single client, like in web browsers. CRLs also have a much longer lifetime compared to OCSP. If an OCSP's network or responder goes down, OCSP requests cannot be returned. A CRL is kept on a hard disk, meaning if the network goes down, the CRL can still be read. OCSPs, on the other hand, cannot be used if their responder or network goes down. Though parsing a CRL can take a while, it can still be much faster than OCSP, as accessing certificate info across a network connection is often much slower than accessing data on a hard disk. Another point about OCSPs is that OCSP requests are sent per certificate, so a high overhead is likely if a website has high traffic. Finally, if you need to deal with near real-time data, OCSP is the much better choice. This is due to the fact that CRLs create a gap of revoked certificates whenever they publish their certificates at certain time intervals. That's all I have today on OCSPs and CRLs. I hope you learned something new today, and please visit our website, learn.encryptionconsulting.com, for more information on PKI terminology.